we want to solve uh, root of y plus 7 minus root of 3y minus 2 everything is equal to 2 so solving this thing means that you should find the values of this y right is that okay that is very very simple when i say y plus 2 equal to 1 right you can easily say that y you can easily say this thing by subtracting 2 from both sides here we have y to be equal to negative 1 this is very easy right so what will happen if you have the square root sign uh, double square root sign in this form how do you go about it the first mistake you see students doing is that they normally square everything here and then square that one here so they normally go like this right so, so minus 3y minus 2 everything square and then they square this one which is not obviously the, the right step to take so your first step here but by the way if you're already on this channel you have a shot on this one demonstrates how some of the mistakes that we see students doing is that okay this is a mistake right so this is a mistake by going this way it is a mistake right so but what would be the right way so the right way of tackling this problem like this is to make sure that you are moving the second guy here this second guy in this part here to the other side of the equation is that okay so how do you do that so it goes like this so this guy will be y plus seven is going to be equal to one this is a negative right so that is the second mistake so moving this to make sure that the sign that is here belongs to the second person here right so and then this guy is already in his or her house right so you don't need to move this guy here. so this guy tends to be positive root of 3y minus 2. is that okay so that is the second mistake so focus on the sign that is here if it is a negative once you cross this equal to sign you become what any a, a, a positive right so and vice versa pay very close attention to some of these things here okay perfect now after doing this thing what to be your next step now we can obviously say that if you have square this guy here right and then uh, you have to square everything on the right hand side so whatever you do on the left hand side you must do the same thing on the right hand side so the key here or maybe the trick here is that once i square this guy I can easily say that this y here is vanished from the square root sign. That is the whole idea of solving this problem here. To figure out that our y, this guy, is equal to something. That is where we are heading towards. To. Is that okay? Since y here is hiding under the square root sign, you have to make sure that we uncover this square root sign here under the y, right? Okay, so squaring this thing here, if you know how to square square root sign here, you see that these two will cancel here. That is the opposite, right? So here is y plus 7 is going to be equal to 1. Now, this is another way students normally make or a very simple and a nice mistake here. The way of squaring this thing here is very, very simple and straightforward. Now, it may look complicated to some of you, but how do you go about it? They mean, when I say x square here, obviously that's x times s. Is that okay? a square is going to be a times a. When I say 2 squared, that is equal to 2 times 2, which obviously equal to 4. Right? So bringing this idea here, some of go, may go, may go this way. You see, you can decide to split this guy here. Nobody is going to chase you for doing this. Is that okay? This is the first one. And then multiply 1 by the second thing, right? 3i right? minus 2. Is that how simple this thing is, right? And then there's a trick. Here. There's a trick in expanding something that, that that goes like this. I believe some of you may have this idea on how to expand this thing. But for simplicity, for understanding purpose, let's keep it like this. Or then let's go the other way around. So whichever way you want to go is accepted, right? So the most important thing is that you are arriving at all the correct answer right so how do you do this if i have this guy we multiply everything here and then this guy here is also one thing right the square root everything under the square root is one thing this guy will multiply everything here, right okay now what would be the short trick here the trick in expanding a square bracket like this now this is a trick now when i have something like one plus a everything square here what it does here is that this two is a is first of all square this that is one square and then what is the sign so this two is going to multiply this by this so it goes down like that right so two multiply by this and multiply by this one 
So 2 times a, so that will positive a, of course, that's plus 2a, and then multiply by 1. All the three of these guys they are being multiplied. And then finally, we are going to square this thing here. So that is positive a squared. So, right? Now, remember, if this place is a negative, you should pay a very close attention here. Don't do that mistake here. So this is what we are having. You have 1 plus everything here will be 2a. Do you agree? And then plus so a squared. Right? Okay, perfect. What will happen if it is... It, let's demonstrate that very quick here to... Maybe that is why you need to subscribe to the channel, right? So subscribe once you have a negative here. How are you going to expand that? Suppose this guy is negative, right? So how are you going to expand that? So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure that you subscribe to the channel for content. So, so bringing this idea to uh, this part here, how, how are you going to do that? Now here you have one square. Of course, obviously that should be one, right? So that should be one. And then you have this guy two multiplied by everything here. And we'll multiply by this one. So that will be positive. 2 here multiply by everything that will be square root of 3y minus 2 everything under the square root sign and then multiply by 1 of course that should be the same now then finally we are going to square this guy here. so square this guy here is just like squaring these first parts can you see that so that should be positive because here is positive so if i square this thing i'm going to have 3y minus 2 does it make sense is that okay now let, let, let's continue our calculation so here should be y plus 7 everything is equal to 1 so this guy here will just tend to be uh, plus 2 root of 3y minus 2 can you see that this guy here we are just multiplying right so and then plus uh, 3y and then minus 2 do you agree by the way if you have any problem make sure that you comment in the comment section below for help right so now what will be our next step here? So you have to group some, 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 is it like things? So this, this, this guy is a number, a number, and a, a number here also. Are you there? So bringing our numbers to one side of the equation, yeah, we should have something like y here. That is plus seven. We are bringing everything to this side. So this guy tends to be minus one. This guy is a negative. Pay a very close attention to that focus on the negative sign so this guy tends to be plus two so we have this guy and that to be two root of three y minus two everything is equal to a plus y are you there okay so step by step so here we have y so this guy tends to be that should be six and then plus this one that should be positive eight equal to two root of 2 root of 3y minus 2 plus 3y are you okay okay perfect so let's continue from this side so once we are done with the with the, with the numbers here numbers without a variable numbers without any letter here we are going to focus on the numbers with a variable so this is y and this is also another 3y so if this is a marker a marker and then this is a marker let's bring all the markers together so here if you, if you start from this side of my board i have y and then plus eight this eight here let's this guy go to why where, where should this guy so let's get this guy go to this side here so that's a three y here so we have minus three y is that okay because this is a positive everything is going to be two root of three y minus two right okay perfect so here we are going to do some okay let me write this so this guy let's all the markers be on one side and then plus eight is that okay? does it make sense right either we are just rearranging so that is going to be two uh, root of three y minus two okay so this guy tends to be negative two y plus eight everything is equal to two root of three y minus two right so because of this negative sign why don't we rearrange this thing to be eight minus two why is that okay we are just arranging them rearrange right so that's going to be two root of three y minus two are you following okay at this point what do you think we have to do here what do you think we, uh, the whole target is to as i said earlier 
beginning of this video is to have y equal to something that's what we are heading towards too now because of this square root sign here this square root sign has to vanish right so how can we make this square root here vanish to make sure that we are feeling this sort of, uh this wire here okay of course you have to square all the side of uh, the equation right now before you square all the side of the equation what do you have to do here you see if can you see something here what will happen if you divide everything by two right so would that make my calculation very easy for me so divide here by two divide here by two because of these two here because the, yeah? is that okay everything here divided by two so this guy tends to be four minus y that is equal to root of 3y and then minus 2 are you okay give us a thumbs up if you are getting some value from this video and then once again make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have not now from here we can easily square this guy and then square this guy as well now, okay so what to be the value so using that technique here so now negative pop-up so if you are i square this one here four that will be 16 then this times this times this one this time this will give me negative 2y so let me go so, so negative 2y multiply by 4 right so that, that's very very simple this guy here we just cancel the square root sign very very easy and straightforward right so here you have 16 minus this one will multiply the numbers have to multiply together so that will be negative 8y that's going to 3y hey don't do that mistake here now we haven't squared this guy you see this is a very nice simple mistake that student can do is that okay so now look at look look at something here so once you square this you multiply everything here you have to square the last part right so that is some of the mistakes that students have been doing since they are in hurry right so don't do that mistake here so what to be the right thing so here should be 16 minus 2 y multiply by 4 you can see what you then you have to square the last part here so that the negative y negative y squared that should be positive y squared and everything will go to 3y minus 2 this reminds me one of us uh, and the underground i love that lecture so much right so big up to him if you want to know his name just comment so that or you want to know my school just comment in the comment section below now here tends to be 16 minus 8 8 8 y and then plus y squared everything is equal to 3y and then minus 2 are you there so which kind of equation are we getting from this thing here so here you have to group numbers to numbers variables to variables and then the y square remain the same you are going to get what we call you are going to get what we call quadratic equation right quadratic equation right now this is for you comment your answer after solving the quadratic in the comment section below let's see those who get it correct and then those who get it wrong right so here don't be afraid to have anything wrong or correct all that matters is that you have to practice once you make mistake you'll be correct and then you move on so in, 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 in eventually when you have any questions that pop up in that similar situation you can easily solve that so this equation tends to be quadratic let's solve the quadratic quadratic here did i say quadrat quad quadrat quadratic right so that was just a simple way quadratic here. so solve the quadratic equation and then giving the two values of the y in the comment section below now, now let's determine the one that will satisfy the equation this is what i'm trying to say if you have y assuming you have y equal to zero y equal to one you have to plug that inside the equation my friend subscribe to the channel so that's what when we upload the next video you see the whole solution on the channel and see how best you or where exactly you are lacking so thank you for watching this